California, meantime, has filed yet another lawsuit against the Trump administration, this time over what may appear on the 2020 census. Those fighting the president say, if allowed, it would have a devastating impact on the state. ABC 7 News reporter Leanne Melendez explains. Are you a U.S. citizen? That simple question that is scheduled to appear on the 2020 census has brought up a series of very complex issues. The effect of a citizenship question on the decennial census has the effect of discouraging or intimidating non-citizens from participating. This would lead to an undercount in California, which according to lawmakers would be devastating for the state. The result will be that California will probably lose a house seat and lose lots of federal dollars. That's why State Attorney General Javier Becerra today announced he was filing a suit to stop the Trump administration. We're hoping that what we do is win this lawsuit, remove a very biased question from the census questionnaire, and then do everything we can to get people to participate. The U.S. Department of Commerce said the information regarding citizenship would help the Justice Department enforce the Voting Rights Act. USF professor Bill Hing says the last time that question was asked was in the 1950 census. My guess is that what they're thinking is that if somebody admits that they're undocumented on the census form, that they're going to follow up to see whether or not that person voted incorrectly. The vice chair of the San Francisco Republican Party supports Trump's proposal. If they're not here legally, they shouldn't vote and we have a right to know. But if a temporary injunction is granted by a federal judge while the matter is debated in the courts, the question of citizenship may not appear on the next census. In San Francisco, Leanne Melendez, ABC 7 News.